In the UK, we buy 10 billion drinks cans every year. But have you ever thought about why the vast majority of them are made of the same material? Aluminium. Aluminium is a metal and it's got some very useful properties. It's strong, lightweight, resistant to corrosion and malleable. That means easy to form into different shapes. Aluminium's surface is an integral part of the design of many popular products. It allows all sorts of other designs to be easily printed on. That's important to food, drinks and other brands who want eye-catching designs and colours that will help their products stand out to consumers. Aluminium can be recycled again and again and again. In fact, it can be infinitely recycled without losing any strength or any of its other properties. No wonder aluminium is considered such a recycling superstar. In Britain, local authorities collect all recyclable waste. They bring it to sorting facilities such as this one. Here, the recyclable waste is separated so that each material is ready for its own recycling journey. All kinds of aluminium products, like food and drink cans, aerosols, foil trays and household foil, are separated from other waste and condensed into big bales. These are drink cans which have been shredded into small pieces, which makes the reprocessing easier. Hot air is blown through the shreds to remove the printed designs on the cans. In the process, they are warmed so less energy is needed during the next stage, melting. Melting happens here, in this enormous furnace. The temperature inside is 750 degrees Celsius. That's over seven times hotter than boiling water. This is the precise melting temperature of aluminium. Water is then used around the hot metal to cool it down. The molten aluminium is eventually formed into large blocks called ingots. Each of these ingots weighs 27 tonnes. That's the weight of three buses and enough metal to make 1.5 million more drinks cans. At the rolling mill, the ingots are warmed to soften them and pass through a series of rollers to form an aluminium sheet. The exact thickness depends on what they will be turned into next. Once it's been through the recycling process, the aluminium coils are transported to the can-making factory. These ones are 10 kilometers long. Here, discs are cut from the aluminium sheet and pressed into cup shapes. After this, they are printed, dried and sent to the can filler. Cans are washed and filled and lids are added. Factories like this one manufacture drinks cans all day and all night long. It can take only eight weeks for a used drinks can to be recycled back into a new can all over again but they may also become part of many other things. In the modern world, aluminium is everywhere. In computers, mobile phones, cars, planes, skyscrapers and even rockets. Designers just can't get enough of aluminium. Recycling aluminium is good for the environment. It saves natural resources and energy and it reduces greenhouse gas emissions. And it's all thanks to the infinite potential of this amazing metal.